Hey, it's me. Today, I'm doing another squishy makeover. Yay! Several of you have been pointing out that it's been too long since I've done a squishy makeover, and I agree, I think it's been over two months. That's a bit of time to go without new squishy makeover. Ness. Don't worry, I would never just stop doing squishy makeovers unless something drastic were to happen, like the walls caved in and ate me and I died. Or if I just got tired of them. <laughs> but I'm not tired of squishy makeovers, I love doing them. So we're still chugging away and doing the squishy makeover thing. The squishies that get selected for the makeovers, it's always a thing. Most of the time you guys request which ones you wanna see and I take your request. Other times I use a wheel to kind of randomly select the squishies that get a makeover. Today, I am going to be greedy and I'm going to just select them myself because, you know, back, back, way back in the day, I used to actually buy squishies for squishy makeovers myself. This was before people were sending me all of their rotten used squishies. I still have quite a hoard of squishies that I bought back in the day. I know this is a lot. I love doing the makeovers that I really wanted to give a makeover to, but then I got distracted for like three years. <laughs> and I haven't gotten to them. So today I'm gonna go back to those and just like do some makeovers that have been weighing on my heart. Let's get into the makeovers, starting with squishy roasting. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this squishy. Now, I used to do squishy haul videos with the squishies that I bought for makeovers, but this one actually isn't in any of those videos. I guess it was one of my dark secrets. <laughs> That was the worst evil laugh on the planet. I did buy it around the same time that I was buying all these squishies. Now, it looks to be a, a small child in a galaxy tiger costume. Um. I did get some use out of it. As you can see, there's some rippage and it does have this lovely little manufacturing defect. We call those squishy birthmarks. Although it's less of a mark, more of a gaping wound. Squishy birth wounds. <laughs> Don't worry, they cause no pain to the squishy. Squishy. See? Painless. I think the only thing I really dislike about this squishy design is that the galaxy continues over the face. So you're a galaxy themed human in a galaxy themed costume? What is that? Also that mouth. Why? That mouth is just awful, let's be honest. But um, yeah, I'm playing with it. Do do, I'm four years old. Enough fun, it's time for murder. <laughs> But not really. There's just some little frilly foamy bits hanging off the seams, so I'll just trim those away. Next is sanding. If you're new here, is anyone new here watching a squishy makeover for the very first time? Anyone? Do I see? Oh yes, you in the back, I see you. So let me explain. I sand the squishies to roughen up the surface. Without sanding, the paint has a tendency to just peel right off, and we don't like that. That's done, just go ahead and dust her off. Now about the squishy birth wound. I got out a paintbrush and I'm just exploring that for some strange reason. Okay, let's stop. I'm gonna grab a tiny piece of memory foam, a little snack, and I'm gonna stick a little bit of that inside of the wound. Now I've got some puffy paint. It's this weird like dual color swirl paint and I'm gonna start using that to repair the neck rip. I bought a ton of this swirl paint because I thought it looked fun, but of course I quickly realized, when do you ever really need that? <sighs> You don't, ever. It's just way prettier in the bottle than it is when it actually comes out. It, it ends up looking like just a hot mess. Uh. Anyway, now I guess this is my repair paint. And now I do not want the being inside of the costume to be a human being. I want it to be an animal being. Uh. And the last time I saw an animal with bangs was uh, never. So that's right, she's gonna need a haircut. I'm gonna try to remove the bangs and make the face as even as possible. <laughs> Yikes. We will fix that later. I'm thinking I'm gonna keep the ears, but make them a part of 
the being inside of the costume instead of being on the costume. Stop saying being. So what kind of costume is it then? Thank you for asking. Was that you in the back? I knew it was you in the back. Welcome. I have a vision, okay? I'm dreaming of a frog. Just, just frog. So you stay there. I went on the hunt for some bulging frog eyes. I found this turtle with the worst little smile. I can't even look at that. It's horrible. Its head is about the shape that I need. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful looking frog eye? But obviously I need two of them. I found this turtle with clearly a different sized head. And oh my gosh, it's creepy. Then I found this one, which looks very similar, but also not the same as either one of these. I found these two. Okay, not even close. Then I finally came to my senses and gave up on the turtle thing. Why am I trying to use turtles for frog eyes? And I found this. It's an actual frog head thing. Um, it's honestly beautiful. Okay, it's a nice pristine packaging. Looks brand new. Oh, it even comes with a lily pad keychain. Oh my god. So I kind of hate to do it, but if you want to follow your dreams, you gotta cut the eyes off of a perfectly good frog bun. I always give great advice here. So I've got my eyes. I'm doing this terrifying thing. Now, the eyes go here. They look like olives. I'm gonna glue those in place and then go around the seams with some puffy paint just to make sure they're on nice and securely and everything is nice and neat. Also, the time has come to try to fix this mess that I've made. Going over that and trying to smooth down the paint as much as possible. And after that dried, uh, it's looking rough again. So I need to go over and over that to try to smooth things out. Okay, and now we are ready for the paint job. Woo, whoa, come on, let's celebrate. Yeah, painting. So I'm gonna make the cat a nice light brown. And as I'm painting, I realized it kind of looks like a cat in an alien costume. I'm kind of loving it. And I'm wondering, did I make the right decision about the frog? <sighs> but you know what? Let's not change courses now. Bringing out the green and I'm painting the costume. Now I am gonna keep that alien idea in the back of my mind and likely it'll come out later in some future project. But for this time, I am really connecting with this cat in the frog costume. In fact, she has a name. It's Winifred. You know, sometimes my squishies go nameless and sometimes the name is just so obvious. She was just screaming. Screaming. My name's Winifred. So now I just need to go back over the face and arms to do a, some little touch-ups. Also painting those big bulging frog eyes and giving the costume a little yellow belly because I thought that that would be cute. Finally, it's time to work on her face. <gasps> what a gorgeous face it is. She needs a little blush. Oops. Oh, ew. Don't worry, we'll fix you right up. Oof. We'll let that soak for a sec. And I'm going to add a little accessory on her head, adding in the little ears and finally painting in the face. I thought it would look cute to make some big wide open eyes on the cat that look just like the big wide open frog eyes. So it's kind of like a mirror of, of eyes, eyes, which sounds really weird now that I'm saying it out loud. Winifred here has to pay the price for that idea and wear this very worried look on her face. She worries and worries and worries. She's worried that she's worrying because she worries that she's worried. So sorry about it, little Winnie. It's gonna be okay, don't worry. Oh wait, you have to. I finished up with some of the little details, including the bow. It is kind of weird because the bow is on her head, but it's on the frog's cheek. But it looks cute if you don't think about it too much. And here is the before and after. Yes, my nails are different colors in all of the after shots. If you notice that and it's distracting for you, I'm sorry. If you didn't notice it before, but now it's going to distract you, I'm very sorry. And now the new version is quite uh, a bit more expressive. Oh boy, what a face. I mean, you know, I could have just gone with a cute, happy face and called it a day and we all would have been fine. But Winifred, she represents the worrier inside of all of us with the constant what ifs, irrational fears, and paranoia, and what's gonna happen, and oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. On a happier note, I recorded the squishing of this with my microphone on, and it's quite satisfying to listen to. Hmm. I feel better. Now, Winifred is so worried. I'm honestly worried about her. I, I think maybe she needs a little companion to keep her calm. So I ended up finding this little bunny squishy and I think he's gonna be the perfect little friend for Winifred. You can't really see his face. There we go, there it is. Kinda creepy actually. Now he's got a really cute little tail, but you may notice he has no legs. He looks kinda like a bunny bowling pin. So, oh no, again with the turtles. This time the head means 
means nothing to me. I'm more interested in the feet. And these are some great looking feet. So I'm just gonna pick out a couple. Oh no, not that one. A couple that aren't damaged. And then just being unnecessarily violent with the turtle. Oh, oh, no reason for that. Important thing is we got feet. Oh, look, he's looking at them. He loves them. Hey! Okay, so let's put a tiny bit of glue on those and we'll just stick him on there and make those permanent. They're yours now. I'm gonna seal those on. There we go. And I'm painting him white. Now the whole point of this little fellow is that he is a friend for Winifred. That's gonna calm her down. Now I've chosen someone very small because we don't want her to be threatened in any way. I'm also gonna put him in a costume just so she knows, you know, hey, this guy, he's like me. We both wear costumes and oh my gosh, I'm thinking about this way too much. I'm gonna call him Wilfred. He's a yellow bunny in a white costume. And oh no, he looks like the Easter bunny. Winnie's afraid of the Easter bunny. Honestly, I can't blame her because like so am I. Easter bunny? Creepy. It's all right because Wilfred's not the Easter bunny. He's actually just a regular bunny and he's actually in a cow costume. I'm adding the spots, making it a cow. I'm giving him a very happy expression so he looks very friendly. Okay, and here's the final squishy. It's Wilfred and he's just stinking cute okay I love him but let's not forget his very important purpose here she is she's clearly on edge and then here he comes he's here with his friendly smile she sees him and she's scared I'm gonna be eaten by a demented bunny but then he just walks up to her and gives her a hug kind of his arms don't really move and, and a nice kiss on the cheek his mouth is open though so he's kind of like licking her face and that's weird and then she stops and it's all good suddenly they are best friends can't you see how much more relaxed she is Winnie and Wilfred they needed each other okay we're moving on from that weird situation to a tube of toothpaste <laughs> I did open this squishy in one of my old squishy haul videos. I have some ideas for this. And I do remember the idea that I was thinking of at that time. So I'm gonna finally make that happen. Toothpaste is a pretty random item to make a squishy out of, but also it's brilliant because I feel like I'm squishing an actual tube of toothpaste. Are you the type of person that just recklessly squishes the tube of toothpaste or are you a roller? Cause I'm a hybrid. I squish recklessly until I feel bad about myself. Myself, then I start rolling. Now I'm gonna shut up about it. Also, I don't understand the need to put some random face on it. It's toothpaste. Let it be toothpaste. It doesn't need to be alive. So I'm gonna start trimming up those edges, make sure that all that mess is cleaned up and it's nice and smooth. Give it a good sand so it's nice and rough. That's right, we smooth it, we rough it. It's all part of the process. Now for the paint. I'm bringing in a whole rainbow of colors. Uh, that orange is screaming at me. It's a little too bright. So I'm just gonna tone that down a bit and get paint all over myself in the process. And now on to the painting. So my idea for this is to turn this toothpaste into rainbow paint. So a full rainbow of colors comes out of the tube all at once, which is funny because I literally just talked about how I didn't enjoy using those stupid multicolor paint mixer bottles. This is different because it's not real paint. Shh. Don't tell anyone. In reality, this would be a terrible product. The paint would probably get all mixed up in the tube and then it would come out looking like poop. <laughs> But luckily, squishies, they don't have to follow the rules of reality, so we're all good. Once I finished painting the paint, I've said that way too many times before, then I decided to make the paint tube rainbow as well, which I was a little worried it was gonna be too much, but also I needed more rainbow on here, let's be real. And neaten that up, pop, it looks great. Now flipping that over and continuing with the rainbow, painting on the back side. Oh, how is there cat hair in my paint container? Someone explain this. All right, paint container painted. I mean paint tube. This is the paint container. This is a paint tube. This is me. This is you. This is Winifred. Wilfred. Pickle. Derp. Okay, I'm done. Now, beautiful as a rainbow is, this looks a little bit plain, so I'm gonna add a label to it so it looks more like a legit paint tube. I did this 
like double border thing on the label and it kind of reminds me of the Instagram logo. That was unintentional, but it's fine. Then I decided to go over the cap and the little end piece with some white, which I kind of like the look of that as is, but the whole point of me going over it is because I actually want to go over it again with some metallic silver, which I'm trying to squeeze out and I don't know what's going on with this paint. It's very thick and goopy. Maybe it's old, I don't know, but it's, it's thick. Although actually for metallic paint, I didn't have to do that many layers. It has pretty good coverage. I only had to do like four layers of this compared to the normal 50,000. Okay, and that's metallic. I think it looks cool. Finally, I'm going to add some text to the label. I really hate my handwriting. I'm super bad with hand lettering, but it needed it. I kind of wish I hadn't written it in black because now the lettering stands out so much. It like steals the show and it's really not that great and doesn't deserve a spotlight. I also added my logo in the corner, but I think that just made it worse. It made the label too cluttered, so boom, it's gone. I added some highlights to the paint. Here is the before and after. Even though there's nothing hugely wrong with the original Squishy, I'm really happy with my new design. Of course, I love the rainbow. I'm not 100% satisfied with the lettering, but it's good enough, I guess. I do think this looks really cool overall. Now, I actually did one more more squishy for this episode, but I am not going to be able to fit it in this video after all because this video is getting on the long side and I'm running out of time to edit all of it. You can thank Wilfred for that because he stole more time than I anticipated. So I'm going to have to add the footage of this last squishy that I'm not going to show you into the next squishy makeover and you'll have to see it then. For now, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next week. Bye! <laughs>